Hello and welcome back. Today I've landed an ice three quarter horsepower motor which I'm going to use to turn to a buffer. And it's a Brute Compton Grant from Motor. It's quite old, I think 1960s. I can tell it's quite old because it is the heaviest thing in the world. Interestingly though, what I'm interested in today is the fact on each end of the shaft, as you can see, it has a little oiler. Which I've never seen an electric motor before. And I'm wondering if it's in a fan motor or something like that. Because I don't think it originally was a grind because it doesn't have an off off switch. So, so I'm going to open this up just out of curiosity, really. Oh, there, you go. there goes the capacitor. It's plenty of been open, this actually. Quite long screws. I just want to see what the bearing's like inside. Alright. Ah, interesting. That has a, a grease burning. I thought it would have been oil actually. See that? That's a surprise. No, it's not got a grease nipple on it. Never mind. The mortar has now had two generous coats, a quarter to green enamel, and I'm now waiting for the buffering wheels to turn up for me, but they'll probably come about Saturday. One thing I've got to do though, is lift it up off the bench because they're 18 inch buffing wheels and I imagine it's going to be catching though. So I've got a bit of an idea, I'm going to make like a base out of wood, roughly about 70 degrees and you'll see the shape of it there. Like, well, it's like a pyramid with the top cut off. I do have some mahogany left over from a silicon version but with some old shelves. I'm going to use that, which is this stuff here. I was going to burn it. I reckon it'll clean up very nice and make a nice base. So let's get on with that. The first piece of the flat top pyramid, 70 degree angled base with 45s, because it's going to be a square, is now done. I'm just going to do another one on the saw to show you the process. You see now you see the shape forming. Let's go to the other two sides. I'll paint it up. The whole thing is coming together very well. And you can see that scribe line there, that is the line I want to cut off. It's about six inches. So by putting the angle on the bed, you'll now get a square cut across. If you can see, see that. I finished the pyramid shape base, do that. So you can see it turned out quite well. And, uh, maybe a bit of filler, but you know, that's where it is. Cut an all out for this switch that come off an old pillar drill, an old Chinese pillar drill that took apart for a bar mill. So I've got the switch. Because the motor doesn't have an on off power switch as such. So that's that. Then, need a bit of MDF for the top for the motor to mount on. Like so. I've got to paint it yet. And then we have the mortar. Oh god, it smells heaviest. Sitting on top. So you can get the idea. These are the arbors that come with 5 8 arbor. The left and right handed threads on them, and they're held in with little grub screws that fit. In. Luckily, there is a groove on that. Let's just zoom in. You can see that. I think you can. Not sitting there. That's that. And I've got the other one ready on the other side. There's one I made earlier. There you get the idea. So I'll wire it all up and give you a demo. The buffer is now completed. This side has a stitched mop, it's much stiffer, and that is your for your rough roughing work to get your scratches out and that uses the pink compound and on this side it's not stitched, it's much softer and use a green compound for finishing let's try it anyway You 
do get like a bit of residue off the wheel. If you use a bit of metal polish afterwards to get the residue off. Says. Famous last words. You can see the sort of finishing we're getting. Not bad really, is it? Well, that's just for five minutes. So there you go. All in all, an easy job. So, pull yourself off the computer, go out and get something done. Thanks for viewing.